So, this is a topic I want to speak for the longest of time. And even I myself had been confused of whether these both are interrelated, related, it doesn't matter if it is relating or not. So, let's go into the topic. Motivation and productivity, the two. You see, uh, if you're going in YouTube and you're searching for productivity, you'll be seeing a tons of work, like tons and tons of apps, uh, tons of master classes, which are classes to, you know, make your time more productive and things you are doing more productive on day to day basis and uh, making out 100% efficiency which is never gonna happen in any point of time in your life <laughs> and uh, motivating you for like come on you can do it you can do it for the rest of your life and getting nothing out of it so as you can see from my words I think and I believe that motivation and productivity as truth is total bullshit not just a small bullshit it is a big bullshit so let's let's walk into three yeah let's walk into it it doesn't matter so sometimes if you feel that you need motivation to do a work sometimes you feel demotivated sometimes you would like let me relax in this time I just need this thing to be like never ending up. I like this place and I love this laziness, the moment of appreciation of nature, which you think that it is a once in a blue moon, which is going to be happening in your life. But the thing is that productivity and motivation are total bullshit. So why do you think that there is a need to be productive for your whole life? How can someone be productive for 24 by 7? Don't you want to, you know, like laser, chill out, watch the sun, just love the environment, listen the birds' noise? You see, I am pretty much happy that I could listen to birds' noise each and every morning and each and every evening and each and every time the sun is not so hot out there. As birds tend to be like, go to some cold places and be, be there if the sun is up. So, if everything you think is to be controlled at that constant pressure to be productive and motivated for the rest of the time, it is a stupid thing to be assuming that it is going to be happening. You in life would be going through different phases and in each and every phase of life or like phase of your emotion, it differs. At one time you would be thinking that ink, like let me take an example, like one time you would be thinking ink, ink pens are the greatest pens. You'd be like uh, finding awesome nibs for the ink pen and you would be like this is the brand I like the most. This quality of nib is what is required to be writing down smooth words of handwriting the smoothest of handwriting is coming out of the ink pen and you find it hilarious that someone uses a powerpoint pen or a uh, gel pen and you think that ink pen are for life but after a point of time you would feel like ink is coming in my hand I hate the quality of ink I don't like the ink pen even if it is at the costliest of ink pen you think then why oh, yeah, I have to be refilling the pen again and again even if I paid a premium price for it and you think the cheapest best mass produced product are for there for a reason but you come to know that this pen you know, is it, it is just another pen you will be thinking that this mass produced it is not one of a kind it is not unique it is not costly like your ink pen it is the job it is good at what it is going to do and it feels good in your hand and that is all it matters so as time changes everything changes so it is just an example out of it let me tell you about demotivation you see um, the thing I tend to do is use the word you see 
let's say this what are the most words coming out of all of that. You see is the word I tend to tell a lot as if I tell this to a blind person you would feel it very crazy. I can't say I am blind. But that situation didn't come in my life till now. I'm happy about it. And I didn't use it to a blind person. I am very happy that I am, you know, self-aware that I shouldn't use the word you see to a blind person. So, if you're more motivated, like full storms, like, yeah, I'm motivated for the full person. Come on, I can do it. I'm going full of energy, full of power, full of all the energy or all the goodness in me is going to be blasting out productivity and I'm motivated for the core and I'll be doing this and this and I'll be running, I'll be jogging, I'll be eating good and I'll be healthy and next thing you know that you'll be eating a junk food in your burger king or McDonald's. So what is the point of motivation? It is just a adrenal rush, a dopamine hit in your brain. So, if you get a dopamine hit or uh, adrenaline rush, ever so often, it is going to make you addict of dopamine and it would be like, I need to get dopamine, I need to get this much amount of things to be done in this much amount of time to get this. So, what comes here, delayed gratification, you have to wait for a longer period of time to get the same amount of dopamine hit and the adrenal rush in your body so that you are satisfied. The thing is that you are doing things that it needs to be satisfied most of the time. It is not good for the brain and your body to be getting dopamine addiction, adrenaline rush for 24 hours. You need to relax your body. The body needs to be relaxed. It is not a machine to be working 24 hours. Even naturally, brain works. Brain is a different compound. It is made of gray matter. Uh, it differs from your other parts of body. Your legs needs to be relaxed for a period of time in order to you know, get the same moment of effective running or effective fitness for the longest period of time. But it doesn't mean that we have to stay still for the rest of the world. The words coming out of my mouth are just the thought process in my brain and the mouth is speaking out each and every word it's saying. So have you ever thought that, hold on, let me think for a second. Am I telling you everything right? Am I doing things right? Is everything right with me? The answer is that, it doesn't matter. The world is not going to change if you do something wrong. It matters if it is morally wrong. But if it is under this amount of restriction, like, let me take this one and do a point trick. Like, there has been a long time since I did a point trick. So That's it. Let me do a pin trick. It's because I didn't practice it daily. But I know the gist of what to do. So, me coming to a point where I can do 10 pin tricks pretty cool is like a two days almost to get that level of the fast handling of men and fast handling of my head. If you're doing something for the first time and if you suck at it or like you know like you are doing it wrong and you are like having many errors in it and it takes you longer period of time and other people doing it it is good as sucking at uh, something just like you would be making progress at it it doesn't matter what it is what it is all 
అడ్రస్తే యూ డూ కాన్స్టెంట్లీ ఇఫ్ యూ డూయింగ్ సంథింగ్ కాన్స్టెంట్ ఫర్ అ పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ యూ బి డూయింగ్ ద బెస్ట్ ఇన్ దట్ టైమ్ ఇట్ డజంట్ మ్యాటర్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ మ్యూజిక్ ఇట్ డజంట్ మ్యాటర్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ సైన్స్ ఇట్ డజంట్ మ్యాటర్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ మేకింగ్ ఎన్ పీరియడ్ all matters is that if you do something for a constant period of time you would be doing it effectively efficiently and at the satisfying you need to be satisfied in things you do if you are unsatisfied in your work and it pays you a lot you would feel like yeah i am doing this for the money and money satisfies my needs or the needs i need to do and this work gets it done yeah it is going to get what you need and what you want but even what you need and want is different it is not the same thing so know that in know that and keep that in mind and be happy with what you have do good or bad if you don't know if it is good or bad but you know something is bad and you are going to do it please don't do it it's not good for you so mental peace so with this I am signing off and let's see another